Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda, and this is Gizmo. <laughs> We're the newcomers. It's time for Mailbag Monday. We have had a great week, a busy week. Always busy. We've been working hard for you. <laughs> we have. And we've been babysitting. Been doing a lot of that, and we love it. We do love it. And mm -hmm. our grandkids just live down the road in St. Cloud. That's near Orlando. Mm -hmm. So we get to see them mm -hmm. quite a bit and uh, yeah. love every minute of it. Yes. We also got to take in some pretty unique stuff this week we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit later about. That's right. And the weather has been absolutely phenomenal in the 80s this last week. And uh, we've been bike riding, walking, just outside. It's been glorious. It's the kind of weather you dream about. Mm -hmm. What's on today's show? I've fallen and I can't get up. Ah! <laughs> and can anybody drive into the villages? And what in the heck happened to Linda's bonsai tree? Is there a police presence in the villages? Hmm, that is a very frequent question. And we're gonna talk about sinkhole insurance. Is it expensive? Should we have it? All that and more. Hit it, Wally. Send us your questions, we've got your answers. Jerry and Linda's Mailbag Monday. Have you got a report on uh, what entertainment's coming this week? Well, we do. On January 27th, get your date set right now. You need to go to Sumter Landing. We have a new band coming called Fancy Reagan. That's going to be fun. Huh. I'll be darned. We went, uh, what day was that? Wednesday or Thursday? We mm -hmm. went to Winter Garden. Right. We were invited to a rehearsal for a big play that's coming to the Savannah Center. Mm -hmm. It's called Rock of Ages. You might have seen that it was a Broadway play for years and it's a great movie. And we were invited up there to watch some rehearsal and we got to talk to the cast. Uh, I'll tell you, we talked to Bo Bice. Do you remember Bo Bice? Oh yes, American Idol. He was uh, an American Idol runner up to Carrie mm -hmm. Underwood back in mm -hmm. 2005. And we talked with Omar Cardona. He was a finalist in The Voice. The Voice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. The guy can sing. Mm -hmm. And we talked to Justin. Sargent. He, Justin Sargent. He's mm -hmm. the director of the play. But more than that, he was Spider-Man yes, on uh, Broadway. Yes, Broadway. And so that play is coming on February 17 and 18. Yes. To the Savannah Center. And I... You don't I think miss it's it. going to be great. You don't I do. Miss it. I mean, these are top quality. We watched the rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, as <laughs> my role model would say. <laughs> also, while we were there, we we were we were given that opportunity by Victory Productions, which is a a great company that brings all these hit shows and performers. We were fortunate to meet Fernando Varela. If you went to the show at the Sharon this past Friday or Saturday night, you saw Four Devo. He is a singer, and man, if you YouTube him, mm -hmm. Fernando Varela, you are going to be blown away. Yeah. He is a magnificent singer. He works with Victory Productions and uh, made that possible for us. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Question number one. <laughs> this is from Esther. Now, you know the word Esther... She's probably no spring chicken. <laughs> That's an, um, I, won't, I won't say old time name, but it was a name from uh, past generations. <laughs> are they coming back, old names like I that? I think they are. I well, really Esther, do. thanks for the question. Yes. She says, can anyone from outside the villages access the villages through the gates? Or do you have to have a pass from the villages to go through, thus gaining access? We thought it was a gated community when we came. Right. And when we got here, we learned you don't have to have a pass. You can just push a red button and come in. There you go. Now, they do photograph your car when you do that. But, I mean, you've got UPS. You've got Amazon. You've got carpet cleaners and drapery people. The yard crews, the people yard that work crews. on pools. Everybody, Everybody comes Everybody can through. come in. But and they're watched. Everybody's watched. Oh, okay. Yes, they are. Watch. Who watches them? The watch community watch? The community watch is watching. Anybody can come to the squares. Anybody can eat at Red Sauce or Blue Fin or Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Mm -hmm. Anybody can go in and buy that decoration you've been wanting over at uh, Rustic Rose. Yeah. It's wide open. Yeah. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Just behave. I had a letter from a viewer this week that was kind of disturbing. They, and mm -hmm. by the way, people love to send us disturbing email. What? You know, if some. 
uh, Jack Wagon writes a, a, an article or a book or directs a movie that bashes the villages, people send it to me. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. especially people that live up north yeah. that'll never come here. They want to go, eh, we know about your community. Right. Uh, it gets tiresome. But, mm -hmm. but this guy sent me an article. Uh, Bob and Liz sent this. Uh, I didn't mean to disparage you all at all. I was glad to hear this from what you sent. Golf carts in Martin County are considering being banned. He says, golf cart for sale cheap. Uh, Martin County is outlawing all golf carts from the roads unless it's titled, registered, and tagged. Also, all safety equipment, including windshield wipers. Bob said he bought a used one in June and he didn't hear about the upcoming enforcement. He said, watch out. You may be next. Oh, I sure hope not. I've told people this before. For me, the beauty of the villages is the golf cart. You know, you, we, we can run to all the rec centers. We can go fishing in our golf cart. We can, you can take it to shop. You know, it's yeah. just, that's our way of life. If that ends, if they took that away someday, we're not much different than a lot of other places. That may be true, but there's a lot of multimodal paths for the golf carts. Maybe this little area here didn't have the paths that we do here. That How would you get to a multimodal path? Well. Would you use your hoverboard or whatever, uh, hovercraft and go over there? No, you have to drive on the streets here to get to the multimodal yeah, path. I guess you're right, but... I don't know. I can't imagine them taking the golf carts away from this community. Well, we sure hope not. Yeah. I think they're they're watching over us and yeah. we'll be all right. But mm -hmm. Judy Cherry says, Jerry, what's up with your mail? Have others mm -hmm. experienced the kind of delays that you have? Yeah. When we post something about, sorry, we didn't get your Christmas mm -hmm. present until July 16th, yeah. you know, uh, other people will write in and say, well, that's nothing, you know. Yeah, I mean, last year we didn't get a Christmas card till March, and it was dated before Christmas. So, yeah, that does happen occasionally, but, yeah. What a big job the, the U.S. mail imagine. is. Oh, it's a humongous. Yeah. Speaking of mail, though, let's talk about stamps. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> I know she went this, to the post office just, just a couple days ago. No. And she bought a roll of stamps. How much was that roll? It was sixty dollars. And then she went outside uh, of the main door into the area where the post office boxes are, and, yeah. and she's making out some some credit, some uh, what? Some thank bills. You, and thank some you thank cards you and bills. I try to send out thank you notes. Yeah. I try. <laughs> and and then she walks out of there and leaves her sixty dollars worth of stamps on the table. Yeah, and you know what? That was on Friday, uh, I believe, last week, and then they were closed on Saturday, Sunday, and then Martin Luther King Day Monday, and then I try to call them on Tuesday. They don't answer their phone, and it just continued all week. So I gave up. Someone's got my sixty dollars worth of stamps. I am just so just. I'm so upset. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Spend another $60. Oh, my you Go buy some more stamps. <laughs> this is from Dave. Have you ever done a golf cart video ride through Orange Blossom? Also, have you ever done a YouTube about how the village has started? We have. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we, we do get sometimes, I wouldn't say criticized, but yeah. people point out that, hey, we live up here. You guys don't right. come up here. Yeah. That's a long way up there. It is long. It takes about an hour for us in the golf cart to yeah. get up there. That's why we don't more. We like it up there. We love the mature yeah. trees. We like the big lots. We like the friendly people. But it takes us so long to get up there that if we go up there, let's say we were going to do a cart ride, 30 minutes, 40 minutes through Orange Blossom. Yeah. Yeah. That would take us an hour to get up there almost. A 40 or 50 minute ride probably. Then another hour to get home. That's a long time. Yeah. So that's why we don't do it. Yeah. But we have done it. And there's a, uh, a little shot of the show that we did. Yes. Uh, you can check that yes, out. Yes, check it and out. And we've been up there several times in our car. Oh, sure. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Joy and Chuck Scadden, they want to know about your bonsai tree. Oh. Is Linda's bonsai tree still alive? Has Jerry been playing pickleball regularly? We'll be playing beginner open at Eisenhower again this year and hope to see him there. I'll start with that one. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I have been playing pickleball occasionally. Honestly, the, the blog is kicking my butt. I am, I am busy with that thing. And we're getting more opportunities, and it's wonderful. So that's why I haven't been doing as much recreation. She gets on me about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I love the blog. I love, I love editing the videos for you. When I get done, I feel like I've got a new baby. You know, I love it. <laughs> and, uh, what he's produced. There yeah, you go. Yeah, it's, it's what I made, and yeah. I like it. Yeah. 
but on your bonsai tree. Well, let me just move my head just a little. Bring it up here. It Let's is. bring that thing over here. <laughs> we'll take a look at it because it's alive. It's alive. There it is. And I know it probably needs some fertil fertilizer and all that neat stuff. I, hey. need, I need to learn how to take care of it better, I know. But it's got green leaves, and I'm pretty happy with that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we. a lot of you had given up on, on this thing. <laughs> I think it needs fertilizer for oh, sure. I but I do have new growth. I have little baby leaves coming out. Yeah. Oh, oh, oopsie. <laughs> One fell off. All right. But hey. anyway, here it is. But Kim Huffam, we oh, mentioned him yes. last year, maybe a year before on a show, because... Yeah. He gave Linda a present, and Linda has nurtured it, and it is a, quite a beautiful little bonsai tree made of Legos. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to hold it up a little bit so you Isn't can see. Isn't that pretty? Look. It, this it, takes it, much less maintenance than the other one. <laughs> I don't have to water it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to She put that leaf. together with the assistance of one of our grandchildren. And we did. Very nice. Uh, my grandson helped me, and uh, he was a whiz, and I was so thankful because, my goodness, it's, well, you're going to lose some pieces there. Oh, sorry. And what's so cool about this, uh, I love this because <laughs> what's up? in the springtime, I can pop off these, these little leaves here and bring pink blossoms. I can change my bonsai tree to pink blossoms. Isn't that mm -hmm. so cool? Yeah. I absolutely love this. <laughs> there you go, Joy and Chuck. Yay. And maybe I'll come play pickleball with you someday. Yeah. We're going to do it straight through, no bloopers, okay? We can do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I'm falling. I can't get up. Oh, what? Sit on. I do, I do, I do. Pretty, 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 pretty bad. Come on in, see that? See, look here. See that far? I'm coming. I'm coming. That far? Is that far? I'm falling. I can't get up. What? You got anything new that far? You got to come on. Keep coming. No, I can't make it. We got a question about a lift assist. Someone lives in a community. I forget who sent it. I'm sorry. That if you fall and you can't pick up your wife. Or your husband. Or your husband. <laughs> you you, you can call the local fire department and free of charge, they will come in her community and help that person get wow. back up and mm -hmm. to a bed or to a chair or to the hospital. Right. So we wondered, do we have that kind of service here? And I'll tell you, about a year and a half ago, I was playing golf. I'm on the fairway going to my ball and I look over and I see a woman standing over a man who's laying face down in the yard. Oh my gosh. And he's a big fella. And, and, and I thought, oh my gosh, what happened? I went over there and she said, my husband's fallen and he can't get up and I can't get him up. So of course Aww. I went over and I helped him up and helped him get in the house. But it was hard, you know, it's almost dead weight. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I called the fire department. They offer that service here. That's fantastic. There's no charge. The only charge would be if they came and then had to transport the person to the hospital. There would be a charge and insurance would probably take care of that. I mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. But we had a similar incident. Take a look at this. Of course, we, that didn't really happen. We just did that for a little comic effect. Did you think it was funny? I still have some abrasions. 
<laughs> we don't really take that lightly that someone falls, no, but Jerry no, and I no. had a little fun. But yeah. um, we do thank the fire department for that service. We think that is amazing and uh, hope we don't have to use it, but we know if it's there, we can go that route. Yeah. This next one is from Mary. Is there a law enforcement presence in the villages? I have never seen any cops here. Well, we'll say policemen. <laughs> That's Mary in Osceola Hills. Yeah. Mary, uh, well, we kind of alluded to that earlier. Uh, yeah. We don't see police officers very often. Now, sometimes you'll see them parked out on Hillsboro Trail or uh, an empty car sitting there to kind of warn people that, hey, we know we've got this area yeah. uh, on the alert. We want you to slow down. Slow down, right. But we don't see many. But I will say in defense of the law enforcement that when we were in Brownwood, remember that uh, intoxicated fellow yes, that was raising did. cane and yes. making noise and yes. looking in people's carts? The, the police got there in a jiffy. Yeah, yeah. A jiffy. In a jiffy. And, and we're very thankful about yeah. that. Yeah. So, you know, that's what you want. You want police that will be there when you need them, but, you know, aren't overly present, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Good. This is from Judy. Dear Linda, I know you go to the water aerobics at Colony sometimes, and I'm arriving back in the villages February 1st. Just wondering if you can advise on those shirts I sometimes see folks wearing in the cooler weather. Do they actually work? And if so, is this something I can buy at Target or Walmart? I've only done the water aerobics in the summer months, but want to brave it in February. Well, February will be cold, and uh, we still have a little bit more of January. We may get some more cold weather. But I have not worn my uh, suit yet. I did buy one off of Amazon. I would wear the jacket if you want to, and it's called, one I bought was called Goldfin. Look it up on Amazon. Let's stop here and take a look at Linda's new outfit. <laughs> wow, that looked great. Yay. Yeah, that was awesome. What's that cost? What did that cost about? Oh, I don't know, it's about $100. About $100 for mm -hmm. the outfit? Yeah, well, I bought, I bought three pieces. I bought the jacket, I bought the long pants, and I bought the shorts, well, knee length, just so I could be covered for all kinds of weather. Yeah. So, about $100. Well, and does, you've used it. Mm -hmm. Does the water get inside it? No, in fact, this gold fin um, company has a little rubber uh, band that will connect the top to the bottom. I mean, it just kind of sucks it in. It's nice. And so water, if it gets in there, your suit's too big. <laughs> mm. you, want it, you want it nice and tight. So, and I love it. By the way, you see we're wearing our Jerry and Linda shirts here. We always do on Mailbag Monday. Yeah. This is a different style. This is coming to an end. The, yes. the person that makes these shirts for us mm -hmm. it's moving. is, is uh, yeah, is selling out and moving. And so we're going to be out of t-shirt business here for a little while. I'm thinking about taking it over ourselves. As you know, we don't get a penny from the t-shirts. Mm -mm. So we may do that. We may start taking that over. But if you want one, I would say in the next few months, you should get your order in. That's at Etsy.com. Just after you go there, go to the search bar and put in Jerry and Linda t-shirts and mm -hmm. you can see them. Because mm -hmm. I don't know how much longer they're going to be available. Don't know. Yeah. So. I like the black. And I like the cartoon logo. Do you all like that? <laughs> I think it's pretty good. From Daniel and Maria in Bayside, New York. How expensive is sinkhole insurance? Is your house covered for sinkhole damages? Yes, our home is. Mm -hmm. I, it's hard to say what the breakdown is. So I called an insurance agent and was told that it's about 20 to 25% of the rest of your policy. So if your policy was $1,000, it would be an extra $200, $250, according to him. Do we need it? I hope not. You know, I, it's just like insurance. You know, I, to me, insurance is a racket until you need it. Yeah. And then when you need it, and you use it, they will cancel you after that at times. Yeah. We had that happen in Indiana. Oh, we did. We, had, we were good, good customers. We never had a claim. And one year we had two. We had, two big, we had a big storm, an ice storm that yes. a big branch fell on our roof. Yeah. It wasn't even a big claim, maybe $5,000. Mm. And we had a flood a situation where a pipe burst in the house yeah. and ruined a kitchen floor, some cabinets. And that again was about five or six thousand yeah. dollars. Two claims in a year. Psh, 
you're canceled. They cut us off. And then you go to so, to another company and it says, has your insurance ever been canceled? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> so then you're, you know, you're, you got a pickle. Yeah. But 20, 25%, we have it. Do we need it? I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm scared. Mm. That's why we carry all kinds of insurance. Yeah. We're scared. Yeah. We did eliminate flood. Mm -hmm. We're at 70 feet elevation. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Unless we're not. By the way, on that sinkhole insurance, it's got a 10% deductible. Now, if you're, what that means is it's 10% of your home value. If your home is worth 300000 and you had a sinkhole damage, you'd have to pay the first 30000 according mm -hmm. to that agent. Mm -hmm. Always get your own information when it comes to something so serious. Mm -hmm. It's time for good versus bad. What do you want first, the good or the bad? Uh, I usually like, I, I don't know. What do you think? I think, let's go with the, the bad first. Was, was your wife like this or husband when you say, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't what do you want to do? do? I don't know. Where do you want to go out and eat? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't care. <laughs> That's okay. All right. I'll make the decision. Okay. We're going to read the good first. Okay. I like the good. All right. I don't have my glasses on, though. There they are. I don't want to put them on. Bane. You're a Bane. <laughs> Carla Minnick writes, I've watched you guys for so long that it kind of feels like we have a friendship. Yeah. We've been visiting my brother here in the villages for 12 years, and finally we retired and bought our own place here. We'll be snowbirds from Ohio. Thank you for all the hours of work you and Jerry put into entertaining and informing us. Yeah. It is a lot of work, but we certainly do love doing it for you. When we think back to, it is a sacrifice, but we wouldn't have met so many wonderful people. We have met oodles and oodles. We wouldn't have met <laughs> Peter Noon. <laughs> Bad. This is from some clown named Ace. Rich people crying about their lives. Boo hoo. Live in a car for a year. Hey, we know we're very well aware that people get down on their luck mm. and somebody might be living in a car for a year. But because somebody has bad luck, is no reason for us all to shut down and not have a good time. That's why we try to bring people the positive things, the happy things, the funny things mm. about the villages and about life here in Florida. And Ace, we wish your luck will turn. We pray um, for you. Mm -hmm. doo, 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 doo. It's time for our Viewer of the Week. <laughs> Our viewer of the week this week is Mary Barack. Mary Yay. is a ball of sunshine. Everybody down south of 44 knows Mary. Mm -hmm. She's, I don't know if she's the queen or <laughs> the mayor, but uh, she's such a great and friendly person. She lives in Linden Isle. That's she a does. beautiful area. Oh my goodness. And we have uh, done a video with her and mm -hmm. her husband, JP. And she rounded up some folks for us. She's always ready to help everybody. Mm -hmm. In fact, here's a picture of her. Do you recognize the lady with Mary there? That's Megan Boone. There you go. Megan was the star of the TV series Blacklist. Mm -hmm. She's a lovely young lady, and uh, she has family ties yeah. here to the villages. And uh, that is just a really cool opportunity for Megan to meet Mary down there. Yeah. What an exciting time. See what I did there? I saw that. I heard it. <laughs> anyway, Mary, thank you. You're the viewer of the week. There you go. Shout outs. This is Paul and Sue. They say they're longtime watchers. This is the fourth winter that they've come to the villages. And they say that this time they're going to see us when they get here. Very good. Looking forward to it. This is Charlie and Janice, and we met them at the Savannah Center seeing Herman's Hermits. Yeah, they were nice folks. Yeah. And uh, just typical of the, the great people we bump into mm. all over the place here yeah. in the villages. Penny and Jim, they came to the Eisenhower Rec Center to participate in our question and answer session. They're great people, and we're going to be cruising with them real soon. Boy, Look, that's coming up. It's coming up. We're looking forward to it. This is a picture of Patricia and her husband and baby, and they are here spending some time after the holidays. That is a good-looking family. Uh -huh. 
This is a photo of Anthony Marazzo and his mom. Super nice folks. They also came over to the Eisenhower Rec Center <laughs> and participated in our questions and answers a while back. This is Kim and Peter at the Brownwood Square and they were visiting for the holidays and I'm sure they're back home wishing they were here. Gene, Scott, Lisa, and Don sent us this picture. They were on a recent carnival cruise. This is Annette and Joe. They recently visited for a month. And when they left, they had decided on their new home in DeLuna. Congratulations. Corey and Karen Irby are rocking their Jerry and Linda t-shirts after a trolley tour. They were here on a short visit and mm -hmm. they say they hope to come back and schedule a lifestyle visit real soon. And this is a picture of Sylvia and Phil's 60th anniversary that we attended. What we, we've already mentioned yeah. that, but you know yeah. what? We don't get dressed up like that too often, so we <laughs> no. thought we'd put our picture on there again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, partner. Are you ready? I want to tell you one more shout out if I can sure. before Gizmo goes on. I have a friend. I'm going to shout out for Laurie. Laurie made me this plate. Isn't that gorgeous? from a glass fusion class that she attended here in the villages. So that's something else you might want to try to do here in the villages. Isn't that cool? That's Gizmo. I heard there's a waiting list for that. Did you there hear that? There is. It's popular? Uh, very popular class. You might have to get on a wait list, and I hope you're lucky enough to get in. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Take it away, Gizzy. I went to dog obedience school, and and the teacher told me, he said, you'll never amount to anything because you procrastinate too much. And I said, oh, oh, oh you just wait. <laughs> Switzerland. What's so good about Switzerland? <laughs> I don't know. But the flag's a big plus. <laughs> you see, their, their flag has a big plus on it. <laughs> I took the shell off my racing snail. I thought it would make him go faster. All it did was make him more sluggish. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanks for the jokes, everybody. I'll see you next week. Hilarious, hilarious. You are a funny Good fella. Good job. Funny fella. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Mailbag Monday. We appreciate you watching. I hope you caught that bike ride last Thursday. Mm -hmm. I love to ride that e-bike. And uh, by the way, there will be a link to that e-bike in the description today. Um, we find them so nice. And in fact, today, one of the reasons we we're so tired... <laughs> A company sent Linda an e-bike yeah. to review. Mm -hmm. And so we had to put it together and we've been out filming and testing that bike. Mm -hmm. We love them. We, yeah. we, it has given us a whole new uh, outlook on yeah. biking. Right. So we think it's great. I don't know when that show will air, but that's what we've been doing all day long. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. Yeah, we appreciate it when you like us on Facebook. You know, I saw today we've grown to about almost 12,000 followers on Facebook, wow. which is a lot. Mm -hmm. But only, I'd say, 20% of the people we invite to follow us actually do. So if you've been procrastinating, hit that follow button and uh, join us. And we'll try to show you some activities and photos and movies and things that we don't put on YouTube. And uh, yeah. love to have you. Yeah. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>